Upon its establishment, Vietnam's foreign policy assumed two key tasks, getting France to recognize Vietnam as an independent country through negotiations, and second, forcing Chinese troops who had come to disarm Japanese soldiers following the end of World War II out of the country. Both tasks were successfully concluded within one year through two agreements with France in 1946. Vietnam made concessions in the 1946 agreements with France to preserve the country's independence. At the same time, the agreements helped Vietnam to buy time to prepare forces for the resistance war. We entered the war fully prepared. Based on the doctrine unyielding in principle and flexible in strategy, Vietnamese diplomats maneuvered through the difficult peace negotiations in Geneva in 1954 and in Paris from 1969 to 1973. Their success contributed greatly to Vietnam's independence. In the period that came after, the motto has guided the country through the Đội Mới, a renovation period and global integration process. As the Cold War came to an end, Vietnam started to expand its multilateral ties. Throughout that process, diplomatic strategies have continued to put the nation's interests first. Indeed, diplomacy has transformed and embargoed Vietnam into an active and responsible member of the international community. Putting the nation's interests first is the resolute objective of Vietnam's diplomacy. That does not mean that Vietnam only thinks of itself and ignores its friends. Vietnam will progress on the principles of mutual benefit and respect. First, we remain resolute when preserving our independence and autonomy. And yet, we rely on maintaining our position through being unyielding in principle and flexible in strategy. Second, we need to be quick in assessing developments in the global stage and responding accordingly. Seventy years ago, Vietnam's diplomacy managed through negotiations to bring freedom for the country. Today, foreign policy continues to play an essential role in raising the country's profile in the world.